What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about the Pedal Commander. Now this is gonna be kind of a long-term update. Uh, in the last two, three years, we've installed one on my brother's Toyota Tacoma, my Toyota Supra, my brother's Audi R8, and then most recently, my Nissan GTR. So first I'm gonna talk a little bit about what it does and how it responds in the car and then go through each of those four vehicles and how it really has helped the car. So is this a gimmicky mod or is it actually something that helps out? So from my personal experience and my brother's personal experience, it, it basically allows you to tune your throttle pedal. The pedal down there that you hit to obviously accelerate the car, hopefully that camera can see it. You can see this gauge on the GTR. As I put more throttle in, it goes all the way up to 100% and that's full throttle. That's half throttle and that's off the pedal. The crazy thing is, and I'll show you a close up clip, using this pedal commander, when I go through the different settings, if I have it in eco mode, you can see how just giving it a little bit of gas, it translates to a very small percentage of pedal. And then if I give it even half throttle, it still is not really flooring it much looking at the screen on the GTR. But then when I dial it up to Sport Plus mode and crank it up a few notches, you can see how just giving it a little bit of throttle pedal, it goes to full throttle. So it's really impressive to see that difference from going to the extreme from the Eco all the way up to the Sport Plus mode. And especially with the GTR having the gauge on this screen, you can really see the accelerator pedal percentage in relation to what I'm actually doing for the input down by my foot. So this is a really good car to demonstrate that because a lot of people think the pedal commander doesn't really do anything. Basically, the throttle bodies are in your engine, those open and close to allow air and the fuel and everything to accelerate the car. That's how it works. The pedal down there is not physically connected at all. It's all electronic. And what the pedal commander does, it intercepts the signal to where you can really fine tune how much physical throttle pedal you have to push and how much it's actually gonna open up the throttle bodies. And it makes a lot of difference when you're out driving. So with that said, we will start up the car. Right now it's defaulted into the off mode because that's the last mode I had it in. So starting up right now, I'm just barely touching the gas pedal. It's around 20% on the gauge on the car. This is a pretty mild, slow acceleration, not much input on my end, and obviously the car is slowly accelerating. We're up to 50 miles an hour. So pretty tame, pretty relaxed acceleration. So now, if I turn the pedal commander back on, I'll hold it down to go into the eco mode. <laughs> so if I go into eco mode, I'll just keep it on plus one. I'll give it the same amount of throttle, like physically, but it's only at 10% now. I was giving it the exact same amount earlier and we were at 20% and now it's only at 10%. So what it does, it just fine tunes that difference between how much pedal input you need to do and how that translates to what the engine is gonna do. Now it is different than just flooring it. Some people think, well, if you just floor it more, put your foot into it more, it'll do the same thing. It's not the same, you gotta really experience it. So now in this mode, if I give it more throttle, so now we're up to that 20%, but that's actually me giving it half throttle. So it makes it to where obviously it's not that fun to drive. It feels like I gotta just put the pedal to the floor to get the power out of the car. So if we tune it up from the eco mode, so we'll go into the sport mode plus one. This is more sharp than stock. I'm giving the same and now we're at 35%. So as you can see by that gauge, if I just give it a little bit of pedal input from my foot, all of a sudden we're giving the car 35 to 40% and it makes the car just liven up because now I barely gotta touch the gas and the car's doing what I want. And basically it makes it to where the things happen quicker. You know, when you put your foot down on the gas and floor it, we're at 70% throttle in a lot quicker time because the time it takes you to put your foot all the way down, depending on how quickly you're flooring it, it makes it a lot quicker. And with that said, if I go up to Sport Plus mode, We'll still stick with just the plus one. That's probably gonna be a lot different. So from here, I'm giving it just barely throttle. And even that one, <laughs> that was up to 60 without even thinking, just giving it that much throttle input. So of those few little tests going from the stock car, Eco, Sport, and the Sport Plus, giving it that same 10% like physical throttle pedal, you can see how the car reacts completely different. Just touching the gas. And we're up to well over 60% throttle. So basically what I've found with this, I'm gonna stick with the GTR on the uh, Sport Plus One. I think that's kind of my favorite setting. It's a little bit more sharp than stock. 
the big benefit of having the pedal commander in your car is just that extra level of tuning. Now my GTR has a lot of mods on it and I've tuned the engine and the transmission. Tuning the transmission doesn't affect your throttle at all because the transmission is all about shifting. You know, how the gears are gonna shift, what RPM they're gonna shift, how much pressure the clutches are gonna put on the actual clutch plates to hold the transmission against the engine to make everything work. Engine tuning is all about the fueling, the timing, the air fuel ratio, stuff like that, how much boost is happening. So the pedal commander basically gives you one more thing to tune, which is gonna be the throttle delay from the physical pedal to the throttle bodies. And even though you can sharpen up your engine tuning and make it to where it reacts a lot sooner, the pedal delay is still gonna be there. So then if we look back at all of our cars now, my Toyota Supra, I found that to have the worst issue because that car just has so much instant torque. Uh, when that was tuned up, you know, that made about 500 horsepower and nearly 600 wheel torque. That was a ton of torque to happen at like 1800 RPM. And with that car, I would give it half throttle to accelerate like normal, but there was such a delay from when I put my foot to the half throttle position to where the engine and everything started to kick in that it would just throw me back in the seat and spin the tires. It got really annoying to drive. Winter time when it was raining out, that thing was not fun to drive at all with the stock tires and the way it was set up. I really got a little annoyed with it. And once I did the pedal commander on that car, it made it to where when I gave it half throttle, it would do half throttle exactly when I physically put my foot down to the half throttle position rather than my foot being there and then it goes. So that delay was erased by tuning it with the pedal commander. Looking at my brother's Toyota Tacoma, very normal vehicle. There's probably a million of two of those out there who are running around on the roads, very normal vehicle. That vehicle, the way its transmission and gearing is set up, especially with the stock gearing and how it's kind of not designed to use sixth gear the way Toyota did it, the pedal commander made it to where when you give it a little bit more throttle input, it makes the engine know that we're really stepping on the gas to engage a different gear or a lower gear. And it helped a little bit with the gear hunting in that car. Of course, he re-geared it and everything, but it also, I think the biggest thing he found when off-roading, it gave it a little bit more predictability about when he tapped the gas to like drive over stuff. We made an off-road video with the Tacoma and with the pedal commander tiled up a little bit to where there's better response. When you're up against like a big rock or a tree stump you're trying to drive over, you know you gotta really put your foot into the gas to start getting the momentum to get up and over something if you're starting from a standstill. And when he dialed up the pedal commander a little bit, you know, it made it to where when he gave it that quarter throttle, it instantly gave him quarter throttle to get over the obstacle. Before, you had to give it half throttle and keep pushing it farther and farther. And when you're doing an off-road situation, you're not just flooring it like a sports car out on the main road. You know, you're slowly giving it throttle input to slowly crawl over things. And that made it to where it could just happen exactly when he made it happen with his foot. And then looking at the Audi R8, you know, same sort of deal. That's a very cool performance sports car. Not crazy fast, but dialing up the throttle response like that made it to where when you touch the gas, when you shift, being a manual transmission car, it made it to where it was just more predictable once again. You could give it half throttle and know that half throttle is happening exactly when you do it. And on the GTR, this has been a really cool upgrade, especially with all of the tuning and modifications. So if we crank this thing back up, exhaust valve on, and we'll go into race mode everything. So in the uh, Sport Plus One, I believe, yep. Uh, this setting, it makes it to where when I give it gas. Whew, it just happens so much quicker. And I feel like a car like this that has big turbos, that have some spool time, by the time I give it that half throttle to rip it around a few turns, half throttle's already happening. And it almost takes away a little bit of that turbo lag because now there's no more throttle lag. The pedal lag from when you actually hit it to when the throttle body's open, that's kind of what it takes away. So then if I turn this back off now instantly with my foot like 10% on the gas right there, I could tell that the car just kind of took a step back. And it's funny because in the GTR, this car has something like that right now. With this mode right here, this is the transmission. If I put this into save mode, that pretty much puts this car now back to stock. If I'm giving it half throttle, it's only at 40%. And now I gotta keep pushing it more and more for that throttle to get up to where I'm actually physically at. If I take it out of save mode, 
go back in the race mode, giving you that same throttle input, we're right up to 50%. So the pedal commander basically in the GTR extends this mode that it comes with stock. Not every car comes with all these settings. You know, the GTR, very high performance. It has a lot of race car inspiration. And this car stock has something like that right here. I can tune the throttle pedal response. And the pedal commander makes it to where I can dial it up to make it even better. And when you look at cars that don't even remotely have that sort of tuning stock, you know, like a GTR is going to give you, you're able to have that. So basically, it just gives your car even more settings to adjust to fine tune it the way you like to drive. And yeah, I've seen the comments on our videos, you know, some people just don't quite understand it. Uh, it's really one of those things you gotta drive it, you gotta test it out. They're not too expensive. And uh, this car literally took me two minutes to install it. Very easy mod to do. And it just opens up the car one step further. And of course with the GTR, <laughs> it makes things just come on quicker because I don't have to wait for the pedal to respond to the engine. So it is certainly a cool way to go. Uh, we'll have that linked down below Pedal Commander's website. If you'd like to order one, definitely check one out. They make them for pretty much every modern car. You know, every modern car uses a electronic connection like this. So I would definitely recommend one. And that's kind of my overview, my thoughts of it. And with our four cars that we've played with these on, we really do find it to be a beneficial upgrade. It's not gonna add any horsepower. You know, people think if it doesn't add a horsepower, then why would I install it? cars aren't all about horsepower. The people who think that the horsepower number makes or break a car probably don't know much about cars. They think just the big number is everything. If you can't really use the power, if the power comes on later than earlier, what's the power even good for, you know? This car is very high horsepower and it can still benefit from being more responsive. And when your car is more responsive, it's more fun to drive. I've noticed with certain transmissions, certain layouts and things like that, you want everything to react when you react. You know, I'm the pilot of this car. When I hit this paddle, I want the transmission to change gears. When I hit the brake pedal, I want it to stop. And now when I hit the gas pedal, it can accelerate exactly when I want to. So it's all about dialing in your car and just making it a lot better. And there's like 50 or so settings in it, the way you can uh, mix and match it from the four modes and then the pluses and the minuses that it has. But you kind of fine tune it, find the sweet spot, and then you just kind of set it and forget it, and your car is a lot more responsive than stock. And you can use that power just that much quicker. So that is it for today's video. Quick one for the day. Just talking about the long-term use of a pedal commander on our cars. We definitely like them. And uh, every sports car I get, I'm probably gonna put one on it just to fine tune it just that much more. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for plenty more content to come. I'll see you guys in the next video.